Okay, so I was just walking up to my spot and I saw these tracks and I looked down and it looks like a moose track and you can see the big pretty neat all right so I'm just walking up to my spot getting out of the darkness and into the Sun should be pretty pretty nice you see my the moose prints again right there going right up to my camp Alright, so I got to my spot where I'm going to set up my tarp and there's moose tracks everywhere, which is really cool. I'm Trevor from Minute Survival and it snowed last night here in the foothills of Alberta, so I thought I'd show you my winter camp setup. First things first, I'm going to want to hang my backpack. Marlin spike hitch for that. Make one end pointy to go into the ground. I like to make them about that long. So I'll trim it off. Whenever I'm gonna work with an axe or something, as often as I can, I like to get down on the ground so I don't hurt myself. All right, so I'm a hammock guy and I got a homemade under quilt that I'd like to show you and put that up now. Here, so quickly I'll just show you the my setup here. So all it is is just two rings and you feed the rope through around both of them and then back around one and then feed it through the middle and then you pull that tight and I just throw a half hitch, slippery half in there. All right, so here it is. Cheap sleeping bag that I cut up. Before. Never have to touch anything to the ground. Helps a lot when it's just snow. Got these locks right here, pull them tight. That's it. All I really have some paracord attached to a bungee line. It runs through, and then up to these little hooks that I hook onto the carabiner. And that's it. Very quick. All right, so now for the tarp. It's a uh, eight by 10. It has a lot of grommets and it's really, really handy. All right, so this side, I just tie a, they call a, a Russian hitch. Good to be able to tie gloves on in the winter. Pull that up against the tree. And then on this side, I like to tie a, a trucker's hitch. It's easy to get undone, and you can also do it with gloves on pretty simply. And you can get it nice and tight. All right, and you can see I got no lines on the end, but I got a line in the middle. It's divided into thirds. Take my line, measure about the right angle I want, put a peg in the ground. Then all I gotta do is go around, pull it down tight, hook it in the teeth. All right, so here it is all pitched out. You can see I got these flappers on each end. All I do here is put a little square knot in the end. That shuts off the first one. What I wanna do is just feed, feed this through this one loop and then through this loop. In order to get them to stay, I run a basically just a half hitch through itself and then that will keep it. Nice and tight. And then I just bring it down to the peg and tie it off like normal. So here it is. All closed up all around, all four sides.
and because of the way the hammock actually lays it's the same space used up if I pitched it normally. So here we are all four sides all shut nice cozy in my nice bright orange under quilt. Alright this is Trevor with another video from Minute Survival. This is my tarp configuration for the tarp challenge by Bushcraft Bartons. Thanks for watching.